Okay, hello again, class. This is Mr. Allen again, and this is medical terminology. This lesson is going to be chapter five, which is going to be over the urinary system. So we will start talking about kidneys and the bladder and all that good stuff. So let me share my screen and we will get started. Okay, urinary system. So here's our objectives, which are pretty much the same for every lesson. Okay, so this is basically the whole urinary system here that you're seeing on this slide. So you've seen, you know, what kidneys look like. And then where the kidney, the whole, there's many different sections of the kidney that filters our blood. Where everywhere, where, when the kidney is filtering out our blood and, and producing urine, all of that urine is dumped into one place, which is called the renal pelvis. And then that goes down the ureter, two ureters, one each, one for each kidney, and then it, they both empty into the bladder. And the bladder is the fluid filled sac that holds our urine until we're ready to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Excuse me. And then at the end of the, the, at the bottom of the bladder, you've got the urethra, and the urethra is the tube that carries all the urine from the bladder to the outside of the body. And the urinary meatus is the outside opening of the urethra, where it actually comes out. Okay, functions of the urinary system, I don't think I have to tell you this. Removes waste material from the body, regulates fluid volume. Does the kidneys do maintain electrolyte concentration in the body? They do assist on blood, pre blood pressure regulation. You might not have known that. Okay, so let's start building some words. So let's do some word parts. Cyst. Well, you may have used the word cyst a lot of times or heard cyst before. It can mean bladder, as in the urinary bladder, or it can be a fluid-filled sac. It can be either one of those. Heme or hemat means blood. Heme or hemat always means blood. Lith means stone, and this says calculus. Calculus means um, the a, a group of like say kidney stones or bladder stones or stones that were um, what's the other word I'm looking for? Gallbladder stones, where um, little minerals get stuck together. Um, and over time, they just build up and build up and get bigger and bigger and bigger until you have a little bitty what's, I mean, for lack of a better term, a little, a little stone in your body made of calcium and other minerals. And it really is a little rock, for lack of a better word. Okay. Um, ne this is nephr or ren. They both mean kidney. So you might have heard me say renal pelvis earlier. Renal refers to the kidney. Knock means night. We'll make a word with that later. Olig means scanty or few or just a little bit. Pile. This means renal pelvis. Don't look at the y, the PY and think it means pus from our last lesson. This pile is all one word part together and it means the renal pelvis. Okay. Your or urine means urination, urine, ureter is ureter. I don't even know why that's there. And your another one that's obvious, ureth is urethra. That's all that those can be. Okay, so let's look at these at it with a picture. So we've got nephr and brin, that means kidney. You can see the kidney there. The ureters, the bladder, which is also cyst, the urethra, and the renal pelvis, which is pile. So, and you'll learn more about all of this, the kidneys and the urinary system in um, anatomy and physiology. Okay, suffixes. Emia means a blood condition. So think of like anemia. We remember from last or a previous lesson, an means without, 
anemia means blood condition. So anemia means, it really means literally without blood, but it really just means you have low concentrations of iron and other things in your blood. Um, gram is a, is a record or a radiographic image. So like in another lesson, we had meter or um, scope, which were used to, to record and look at things. Now we have gram, which is gonna be like a record or radiographic image. So they call an, an x-ray, when you're looking at a x-ray, they call it a radiograph or a radiogram. Graphy, the process of recording a radiographic image. Iasis means condition, just condition. Pexy means surgical fixation. So think of having to suspend or sew a, an organ into a place where it may not normally go. Or when they do surgery and have to remove things and then put things back in you, they might have to surgically fixate certain things into to certain body parts or other organs so that they stay in place. So this is fixation to keep it, surgical fixation to keep it, the body, the organ in place. Plasty just means surgical repair. Plastic, plasty always means surgical repair. So think of like plastic surgeon, they're making surgical repairs or enhancements. Wrapping so is not, rate, not, don't think of rage or regia like we had in another lesson, this is wrapping. This means suturing or repairing. For some reason, that is always the hardest word root for me to remember. I don't know why. Tripsy, surgical crushing. That will make sense later. Surgical crushing of something. Okay, diagnostic suffixes. We've got scope. So a cytoscope is something, is a visual tool used to look at us at I'm sorry, not sight, cystoscope. I pronounced it wrong. Cystoscope is a, a, is a device with a camera used to look at the bladder or a fluid filled sac. Cystoscopy is the art or the, the act of doing this using the cystoscope. Cystogram is a picture of the inside of the bladder taken by a cystoscope. Cystography is a image or recording of the inside of the bladder. Okay, so this is a picture of a bladder and you can see the, the, the bottom of the spine and the pelvis there. Well, the bladder has contrast in it. That just means it has a dye in it. The person has been injected with a dye or they drink it or they put it through their urethra or through a, um, through a catheter so that their bladder will show up on x-ray and they're looking or on scanning or looking to see where the bladder is sitting in the body. And some more surgical suffixes, nephrectomy. So we remember ectomy meant excision or removal of. So this would be an excision or removal of the kidney. Nephro means kidney. Nephrotomy means cut into or incision into a kidney. Nephroplasty means surgical repair of the kidney. Nephrography means surgical suturing or repairing of the kidney. So just suturing a kidney. Nephrostomy, this is not nephrostomy, but nephrostomy. If you remember, ostomy means an artificial opening. So this is creation of an artificial opening in the kidney. Nephropexy means surgical fixation of a kidney. So this would be, say, maybe you had surgery or maybe you had a, a person had a kidney transplant. Well, then they can't just connect the kidney to the blood vessels and to the ureters and just let it just and just throw it in the body and close them up they've got to they've got to put the the kidney in the body and make sure it stays in place so they may they may sew it or suspend it from another organ or body part so that it stays in place until scar tissue grows around and keeps it there 
Okay, here's some words with hemat and heme. You've got hematology, which is the study of blood. Hematuria is blood in the urine. Then you've got hemodialysis versus, versus peritoneal dialysis. That's just dialysis. And then we've got, we've had hemorrhage before. Words with ur and urine. So we've got anuria means without urine. So maybe, maybe a person with kidney problems would be anuria. They wouldn't be producing as much urine or any urine at all. Dysuria means difficult or painful urination. Hematuria hemat, hemat, means blood in the urine. Noturia means um, night urination. So like kids often when they're young will wet the bed. So that's nocturia. Oliguria means scanty or just a little bit of urine. So maybe somebody with bad kidneys may produce just a little bit of, of urine but not as much as they should. So that would be called oliguria. Pyuria, wouldn't that, we've had pie before, that means pus. So this stands for pus in the urine. You don't want that. Okay, now let's build some terms. And urea mean we just had that without, without urine. Cystitis, that cyst is, remember, bladder or fluid-filled sac. So this is inflammation of the bladder. Cystolithiasis. So let's break this down. We've got cyst, cyst, which is bladder, lith, which is stones or calculi, and iasis, which is condition of. So this is condition of stones or calculi in the bladder or bladder stones. Dysuria, painful or difficult urination. Hematuria, blood in the in the urine. Nephritis. Remember, nephro means kidney, so nephritis means inflammation of the kidney. Cystitis is inflammation of the bladder. You can see that little this picture over here is not looking too good. And anytime any part of the, the urinary tract is infected or has an infection, we call that a UTI, urinary tract infection. This is what cystolithiasis stones in the, in the bladder looks like. Okay, let's make some more words. Nephrolithiasis, this is condition of stones in the kidney or kidney stones. Nephrologist is a, is a doctor that studies the kidneys. Nephrology is the act of studying the kidney. Nephrotomy is opening up the kidney, so making an artificial opening. Nocturia, we had that was nighttime urination. Oliguria is just scanty urination. Pyolitis, remember, don't get pile confused with pie. Pile means renal pelvis. So this is going to be inflammation of the renal pelvis. Pyelonephritis. So we've got pile. We've got um, renal pelvis. Nephra, which means kidney. And itis is inflammation. So this is inflammation of the renal pelvis and the whole kidney. Pyuria just means pus in the urine. Renal just means kidney. Uremia, blood in the urine. So we had hematuria and then uremia. Same thing. Ureterectomy. I'm sorry. Ure yeah, ureterectomy. That's when they actually have to remove one of your ureters for whatever reason. Uretolithiasis. This is when you have stones stuck in your ureters. Remember, the ureter is the tube that goes from the kidney to the bladder. So this, so this stone is stuck in that midway section. Uretopyelonephritis. This is ureto. So we've got ureter. So we've got the ureters, the pile, renal pelvis, and nephrite. 
kidney and itis inflammation. So this inflammation of the ureter, the renal pelvis and the kidney. Urethrocystitis. So this is inflammation of the urethra and the bladder. Urologist is a doctor that studies the urology system, urinary system. Urology is the study of the uro urinary system. Okay, let's look at some diagnostic terms. Cystogram. So we've got cyst, which is bladder. And then we've got gram, which is a picture or recording. So this is a picture of the inside of the bladder taken by cystography with a cystoscope. Love how all that went together there. And then the act of using a cystoscope is called cystoscopy. This word cystourethrography means a picture or recording of the bladder and the ureters. I'm sorry, the, the urethra, that's urethra, not ureter. Urethroscope, this is a picture, this is a camera that is put up the urethra to examine the inside of the urethra. Urogram is gonna be a, a recording of the, something of the urinary system. So this may be a recording of um, some part of the urinary system functioning. It may be, sometimes they have to measure flow rate to see if you're, if you're urinating with enough um, pressure. So that would be a urogram. There's different types of tests that are called urograms. There's a nephrostomy. There's a cystoscope and you can see that little, it's, it's just into the inside of the bladder right there. Okay, percutaneous pyelolithotomy. So per means through the skin. OUS means pertaining to. Pile is renal pelvis, lith is stone, and Tommy is incision. So this means incision into the renal pelvis to remove stones. So that's a long word. And that's exactly what it would, the, the, that's exactly what the surgery would look like. Okay. Medical terms, built surgical terms. We've got cystolithotomy. That's a surgical removal or opening of the bladder to get stones. Cystostomy is a op surgical opening into the bladder. Lithotripsy. So if you remember lith means stone, but do you remember what tripsy stands for? We had it at the beginning of this lesson. Tripsy means surgical crushing. So lithotripsy actually is surgical crushing of stones. And we'll see that, I'll show you a picture of how that's done in a minute. It's actually done with sound waves. They don't even do an incision at all. It's done with sound waves. Nephrectomy is removal of the kidney. Pyelolithotomy is um, an opening into the renal pelvis and to get stones. Ure ureter, Ureterolithotomy, <laughs> that's a long word there, is an opening into the ure ureter to get stones. And urethoplasty is a surgical fixation, I'm sorry, surgical repair of the urethra because it can be damaged by stones if they pass through. This is what a lithotripsy um, machine and the equipment looks like. So these are actually sound waves that are pushed through the person's body and they're very, um, a certain frequency of the sound waves. And um, they actually break up the count, the stones in the body and in the kidney. And then they're break, it breaks them up into smaller pieces so that they can pass through the body naturally. So it's not necessarily going to get rid of the pain from the stones, but it will get the stones moving, which is the most important part because they, if they're just stuck in place, they're going to cause major, major, major problems. We've got to get them out of there, no matter what method we use. Okay, so here's some words not built for medical parts. So that's just what we saw. 
filled with those trips with the sound waves. Hemodialysis is when somebody has to go to what we just called for short dialysis, um, when they're having kidney disease or kidney failure and they have to get their blood filtered. Incontinence is the, uh, the action of not being able to hold your urine or bowels. Renal calculi just means um, kidney stones. Renal transplant is a kidney transplant. Your analysis is an analysis is a lab analysis of urine. Urinary catheterization is just when you have to be cath into your bladder to um, empty your bladder. Urinary tract infection, just an infection of any part of the tract. Void. Void actually means to urinate. So most of the time in if you see, if you're looking through a chart and you see nursing notes, it's going to say voided at last voided at this time or last void was 200 cc's of urine. They don't say urinate or urine, they say void. This is what a dialysis machine looks like. So you can see the blood going, there's a tube with blood going into the machine. And then there's a tube where it puts the, the filtered blood back into your body. This is a cross section of what a calf being calf looks like. Abbreviations. This is the extracorporeal shockwave lithotripsy or just lithotripsy, the surgical crushing with sound. This is hemodialysis, hemodialysis. The picture we just saw of the little boy. Urinary, urinary, urine analysis urinary tract infection and we'll finish with a note so let's look at this note and let's pay attention to our bold words so we've got a 76 year old woman who is complaining of hematuria and dysuria so what are those hema or hemat is blood so it's blood in her urine and dis this is difficult or painful so difficulty or painful urination. She was referred to a urologist, was a doctor that studies the urinary system. Urinalysis, this, so they, they did a study on her urine, found some, pot, some pus in addition to the blood. So they did a CT scan, a computed tomography scan, mild, Nephrolithiasis was observed. So that's small or mild kidney stones. Finally, they did a cystoscopy, which is a scope looking inside her bladder, and it showed mild cystitis, which is inflammation of the bladder. So she was diagnosed with a UTI. And then they, because the stones were so small, they did not ad advise against, they did not advise lithotripsy for the renal calculi easy enough. Okay, that's one more lesson under our belt. So um, look through a PowerPoint on your own, look through your book and study um, online through your online resources. And then don't forget to turn in your assignment for this, um, for this lesson. Thank you.